evening. My name is Tamara, and today I will present my slides on my group and our project. We um we chose to do third degree burns that require hospitalization. My first slide we re will review the impact of third degree burns. Third degree burns are the most severe type of burns. They destroy the outer and inner layer of the skin. These burns can affect a person and their family dramatically. A person can experience a decrease in social life, post-traumatic stress disorder, and even depression. These type of burns can also affect a person's family and or significant other. They may experience physical, emotional, social, and financial challenges due to their loved one experiencing such a traumatic event. My next slide will review treatment options for third degree burns. Treatment options for third degree burns depend greatly on the amount of body surface area that is exposed in the burn and immediate treatment of the burn should be determined by the doctor. <clears throat> treatment options for third degree burns can include cleaning and debris in the affected areas, IV fluids and or antibiotics, pain medications, topical ointments, nutritional supplements, skin grafting and reconstruction, and even tetanus shot. The cost of treatment for burns depend greatly on how much of the body surface area that is affected and what type of treatment is needed. Insurance coverage for third degree burns also depends greatly on what on the type of insurance the patient has and what type of treatment is needed for the areas that is affected. My next slide reviews the effects on life with third degree burns. People with third degree burns can be left with seriously devastating injuries that can affect normal life events such as activities of daily living, and lifelong goals such as marriage and having children. A person with third degree burns may be left with a loss of limbs, disfigurement, loss of mobility, scarring, and recurring infections. These type of burns can also cause emotional problems such as depression, nightmares, and flashbacks. My next slide reviews support groups for third degree burns. There are multiple support groups that can be used for individuals and their families that have been affected by third degree burns. Support groups for third degree burns can be found online, at the burn center, or in the burn unit, and even throughout the community. My next slide reviews the problem list of third degree burns. Problems for, with third degree burns include ineffective airway clearance, ineffective tissue perfusion, fluid vein deficit, imbalanced nutrition, impaired skin integrity, acute pain, impaired physical mobility, anxiety or fear, disturbed body image, and knowledge deficit. <clears throat> Ineffective airway clearance nursing management includes accessing the airway, breathing and circulation, monitoring respiratory rate, rhythm and depth, auscultating lung sounds, drawing blood samples for laboratory results, obtaining the history of how the injury happened, access and gag and swallow reflexes. Medical management of ineffective airway and clearance includes administering oxygen, administering medications such as bronchodilators and steroids, provide posture drainage, percussion and vibration, encouraging activity and exercise is tolerated. With ineffective airway clearance, you might want to consult physical therapy and respiratory therapy as needed. My next slide is ineffective tissue perfusion. Nursing management for ineffective tissue perfusion include accessing the color, sensation, movement, peripheral pulses, and capillary refill on affected extremities. Elevate affected extremities, access reports of deep throbbing, aches, and numbness, encourage active range of motion on unaffected body parts. Medical management for ineffective tissue perfusion includes keeping the client in a warm environment, administer IV fluids, administer vasopressors and inoperative agents, and administer antimicrobial agents for the risk of infections. My next slide reviews fluid vein deficit. Nursing management for fluid vein deficit includes monitoring body size and central venous pressure, monitoring urinary output, estimate wound drainage, weighing the patient daily, and monitoring mentation changes. Medical management includes administering IV fluids, administering medications such as diuretics, potassium and excess as ordered, and inserting indwelling catheters and large bore IVs. My next slide is imbalanced nutrition. Nursing management imbalanced nutrition includes occultating bowel sounds, maintaining strict calorie counts, 
monitoring muscle mass and subcutaneous fat. Medical management for imbalanced nutrition includes providing small frequent meals and snacks, inserting NG tubes as ordered. Also with imbalanced nutrition, you might want to consult dietitian and nutrition as needed. My next slide reviews impaired skin integrity. Nursing management for impaired skin integrity includes assessing and documenting size, color, and depth of the wound, elevating affected areas as possible, and maintaining dressings. Medical management for impaired skin integrity includes providing appropriate burn care and infection control measures as needed. And that will conclude my group's presentation. Thank you.